there is only one thing in this world that is more beautiful than the scene before you. Boom. This folding knife right here. And guys, thank you for watching The Knife Whisperer. And remember, I love you. Well, hello boys and girls. Knife Licker here. So, guess what? Got home today to another epic mail call. And guys, guess what? This one's mine. The Sabivi Vexer. This is the biggest folding knife that they have made, as far as I know. Now this knife, to be honest with you, is not, I don't know, I'm not really that attracted to the look of it. I don't know, it's kind of a weird shape. But as far as fidgeting goes, this thing is phenomenal. You got your uh, spidey flick, well it's a heavy blade. Look at the, look at the blade stock on this. Now you guys know Sabivis, they're usually really, really thin blade stock, thin and slicey. This one is like a .16 blade stock, and I mean it is a monster. But because it's a heavier blade, it's got a better, um, better close. It's still breaking in. But um, there will be a review on this coming up. Um, I'm not sure yet, but I'm thinking that this might be the next giveaway knife. So we got that. And then a, um, another reviewer sent me some knives to check out. And um, we had agreed on two, and he actually sent me four. And... Um, I can't believe that he sent me one of them because I know he just got it and it's an expensive knife and I know he loves it. I know. Um, anyways, Kyle, DTOM Knives and Gear. I've been talking to him him a lot lately online and um, great guy. Kyle, thanks a lot, buddy. You know, I mean, again, I keep saying how great this knife community is and you're just another prime example of how great it is. So thank you, Kyle. And let me show you guys what Kyle sent us. Let's see here. First off, the TRM Neutron. Now, I've always wanted to see what all the hype was about these bad boys here. Um, everybody raves about them, thin and slicey. And I might hopefully not lose some subscribers from this, but um, I'm not liking this knife. So, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's, it's definitely a nice knife. It's built really well. Um, but I, I don't know, maybe I'm just used to um, thicker knives. But um, it's still, it is a beautiful knife. He's got these nice wood scales on it. And um, it is definitely thin and slicey. I mean, this thing's a razor blade. So, the TRM Neutron. We'll be taking a look at that. Then, another knife that's been getting high praise lately. The Quiet Carry. High point. Or no, the Waypoint High Point. Uh, yeah, High Point. Woo! Nope. Let's try again. The Quiet Carry Waypoint. This knife I do like. Now, um, now they're thin and slicey. This all titanium. As you can see that very thin knife. Light. You can definitely tell this bad boy carries nicely in the pocket. Super sharp. I love the profile on this. The blade is absolutely stunning. Ooh, I like that wordplay. Stunning. Beautiful knife. Wire pocket clip. So, we will be looking at the Quiet Carry Waypoint. Then, I've been wanting to pick up one of these for a while and I just never got around to it. And I'm trying to work a deal with Kyle. To get this knife and um, I'm thinking about maybe trying to con him into maybe my uh, Riot Starboy which costs a little more than this knife but I know he loves this uh, Kapara and um, nothing set in stone but I'm trying guys I'm trying to get this Kapara the Spyderco Kapara no nothing new here this knife's been out for a while but new to me new to the channel you got a compression lock on this bad boy. Beautiful carbon fiber. 
Love the carbon fiber on this. The wire pocket clip. Nice and smooth. And this thing has just great action. Thin and slicey. I'm loving this knife. And last but certainly not least, this is the knife I couldn't believe he sent me. The XM18. This looks like it's the three and a half inch slicer grind. If I am not um, the biggest hinderer fan, but I tell you what, I'm becoming one holding this. This knife is absolutely beautiful, and it is. I, you know, I've had many ZTs, and I've had the 0562. You know, that was made to um, resemble or be a model off of this knife here, and um, now it, it's it's not the same. You know, so now. I am agreeing with all the, these guys that talk about their hinderers saying that, you know, if you hold one in hand, you'll you'll see the difference. And I am seeing the difference. I mean, I can feel the difference. This, everything is just like twice as beefy in this knife. Um, from just the uh, the mechanisms and just like, this one's really not that drop shutty. Feels like the pivot's really tight. But um, I know it's new, so maybe it just needs to break in. And actually, I don't even know if this thing's running on the uh, on the bearings or not. It's got the uh, this is the Gen 6, so it's the triway pivot system, where you can change change it for uh, phosphor bronze, the nylon or um, bearings. So that's pretty nice. So I'm not maybe that's why I don't maybe it's just not on the bearings right now, but I think it is. Maybe it just needs to be broken in. But um, killer killer knife. So we got the hinderer. XM18 slicer grind and it's in 20 CV the black G10 nice knife and it's actually it's, it's this knife is lighter than I thought it thought it was gonna feel you know I always pictured a hinderer to feel like I don't know heavier than this but it's actually pretty light so guys great things coming to the channel thanks again to Kyle, DTO, DTOM Knives and Gear. You're a great guy, Kyle, and I'm going to add you to my repertoire of guys that I love in our YouTube knife community. Um, and um, I got a bunch of new subs. Thank you, guys. Um, Big Red did a, uh, did a video that I did a tag on a while ago. He just did it, I think, yesterday. And um, I think a lot of people saw that video from, from his channel. And... Um, they came over. So thanks a lot, Big Red. I love you too. And I love all you new subscribers. And I still have those two um two Russian custom knives that Alex sent me from Alex's knife box. Uh the uh mechanic custom knives. And um I've been playing with those things like crazy. The that bigger one there where I called it red was really not red, it's more like a copper color. That um that thing scares me. That thing is so smooth. As soon as you release that that lock bar, that thing is coming down. And I mean I can't when I let's see here. We'll try I'll show you what I mean with this. So you know when you usually hold a knife like this and you release the lock bar and it will fall and you kinda kinda turn, you give it a little shake, some of them will just fall. This this thing, as soon as I move my hand, it's just like I can't even move my hand quick enough before it just goes right into it. I mean, the thing is stupid smooth. No no friction at all. Um, yeah, it, it scares me, but it's, it's so scary. It's sexy. It's sexy scary. So I will definitely have the, the review on those two custom Russian mechanic knives this weekend. And then um, this coming week, we'll bang out the, um, the knives that uh, Kyle sent me. And... Um, this again guys I will be doing a um, uh, impressions review on the Civivi Vexer and um, I'm not sure yet but this will probably be the next giveaway knife you know maybe when I get to 500 or something but um you know, and you know whoever gets one of these knives for me it's gonna be like brand new because I don't cut anything with it because I'm more of just a collector and a fidgeter so you'll get the knife it'll be all nice and broken in and you get to just play with it you know like a uh, well-oiled machine. Anyways, guys, I love you long time. And 
We're going to do the double flex today. The Knife Whisperer loves you.